You know, what's kind of extraordinary about that moment, it's one of the most dramatic moments kind of in history. Yeah. You know, that the fact that they had put all of this, what was at stake? You know, all of this money, all of this effort. Um, but then there was this chance that they would set fire to the atmosphere and they would destroy the world. Detonator's charged. Hi, I'm Javier Barreche from Spoiler Time, and I'm here with Oppenheimer himself, Killian Murphy. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Good. Um, I wanted to ask you right away, uh, Oppenheimer's life obviously mirrors the myth of Prometheus, who yeah. gave the fire to humans and then spent the rest of eternity being tortured. Yeah. Thinking of that journey for Oppenheimer from the, from the excitement of his discovery to the guilt of having shared that discovery, yeah. tell me a little bit about the filming order and your emotional journey as an actor throughout that. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I, I, it really feels Promethean to me when you when you watch when you watch the film, and also Faustian. You know, I, yes, because you know he made this pact and then he tried to renegotiate, and we all know how that goes. Um, you know, inevitably when you make films like this, you shoot out of sequence, so it's a real challenge. Um, but when you have a director as insanely talented as Chris, you know, y you know you're safe, and you know he had written the script, so. He just kind of guided me through it, uh, you know, so that I would know at, at each point in the movie where he stood morally and emotionally. Um, but it was a challenge for sure. Right. Thinking about the script, it feels both as a biopic and as a thriller. Yeah. How did you approach it? As either one of them or as both? I, didn't, I never think about movies in terms of genres when you're making them. It, it's kind of irrelevant to me. It's just the, the, the character and the truth of the, of the story. I, I, but when you watch it, I, I can see that, you know? And I also feel that it has kind of horror elements to it as, as well. well. yeah. yeah. The existential dread, at least. For right? sure, yeah. Um, uh, in Oppenheimer's biography, they talk about how Robert got sick often when he was a child. Yet, in spite of that, let's say, weakness, he always, and I quote, flirted with danger. Mm. Uh, did you work on the character's past to portray him in that sense, or do you try to approach each scene individually? Well, I did an awful lot of reading, you know, about him, and he, yeah, he, he, he had, uh, he went through a tough phase when he was kind of, you know, late adolescent. Right. Uh, and I think that formed him... Uh, as a as a as an adult, and yeah, he was kind of crazy. Like he would go on these um, two day horse rides with his brother in New Mexico, and they would only have like a bottle of whiskey and a bar of chocolate. <laughs> and you know, he was a very frail man physically, but incredibly strong uh, uh, in terms of his stamina mentally. Um, I couldn't help but see Oppenheimer as kind of like a film director, coordinating the work of other scientists, sometimes more specialized than himself. Mm. What was it like to play? this type of director while being directed by a director such as Christopher Nolan? That's, a, that's an interesting point of view. Um, I mean, again, I didn't see it like that, but it's interesting that you read that into it. Uh, in terms of Chris, uh, it, you know, there is no one like him in the world. He yeah. is, like, uniquely talented. Uh, um, so it's, it's always a gift working with him. I want to talk a little bit about the terrible possibility, right? The idea that the world could have ended that day on the Trinity test. There was a minimum yeah. possibility. Yeah. The entire existence of mankind was at stake, yet it felt necessary at the time. Would you have made that bet? Would you have made that gamble? Me personally? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, what's kind of extraordinary about that moment, it's one of the most dramatic moments kind of in history. Yeah. You, you know, that the fact that they had put all of this, what was at stake? You know, all of this money, all of this effort, um, but then there was this chance that they would set fire to the atmosphere and they would destroy the world. And the fact that they went ahead and pressed the button is kind of outrageous, you know? Yeah. And the fact that they were, like, they were making bets the about whole, what? The salary around yeah. it, like, one month's salary if yeah. this happens or It's kind done. of, it's wild, I mean, it's terrifying and wild, uh, and then the world changed for forever. After that. And that says that that scene, especially when they they do that bet, uh, yeah. there's like a lot of there's a lot of humor in a very sinister moment. Yeah, is this a contrast that you find constantly in your life? Like try to approach with humor some uh, awful situations. Yeah, man, Irish people, you know, have have great uh, black humor. I think it's important to laugh, isn't it? It keeps it us going. It really is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Killian, this is pretty much my time. Uh, thank you so much for your interview. And Pleasure. again, congratulations on this movie. I anticipate some nominations, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Hopefully. Take care. Thank you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One.